Hey guys, hope you're doing well. You're about to watch a clip from this week's Jano Insight Show. Each and every week, we bring in goals, Neil Jones, to talk about all the happenings in and around Liverpool Football Club. Injuries, transfers, contracts, all the good stuff that you guys want to know about. If you want to check the entire show out, it is streaming now both in video and podcast forms over on redmenplus.com. So yeah, go over there and check it out. By the way, while I've got you here on YouTube, we are closing in on half a million YouTube subscribers. A massive, massive landmark for the channel. So if you're watching this right now and you are not subscribed to the Redmen YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button below. Get us to that massive, massive milestone. Right then, let's get to the clip from Jano Insight. Very quickly, I know it, the transfer window's just closed, mm -hmm. but this is more of a recap of what didn't happen rather than what could happen in the future. But obviously, Con Conrad Lehman, whose name was linked at about we he kind of that that was what when, when the Arthur deal come about I think if you'd have said to a lot of people who they're gonna sign it might have been him it looks like Liverpool did from your article I wrote so to correct me if I'm wrong but you said that Liverpool did move for him only to be priced out and obviously it looks like he's going to buy Munich as well it again the more you read of this poor Arthur's get if <laughs> going down this pecking order he's almost getting to Ben Davies level of we just had to get somebody in but it again. When we were all screaming in January, for, sorry, in uh, uh, early August, late August for a midfield, it, it looks like they were just sitting on the lot, they were doing stuff. It just got really, really late before they managed to do something. But yeah, it looks like again, Jürgen referenced the the player we wanted went somewhere else, which we're all pretty much convinced is Schumeni who went away. But it, it could easily have been him no, was, agreeing yeah. to uh, going, say, "I'm actually going to buy Munich next year." I think it was. I think it was Conrad Leimer that he was talking about. Um, okay. Yeah, but. I mean, I, I, we, I did report that and sort of day before the transfer window closed that yeah. Liverpool had sort of given up on the, the pursuit of Conrad Lehmer. That, uh, he's one of those players that sort of, he ticked a lot of boxes. You know, he's not he's not a world-class player, but he ticked a lot of boxes. You know, he's experienced. He's obviously from the, from a, a, the Red Bull production line or, or that sort of, that, that stable, um, responsible sort of player but you know lead bit of a leader you know plays a couple of different roles in in, in midfield and he had a year left on his contract so it sort of it, it all fed into i wouldn't say it was he was target number one two or three in the summer you know they, we need to get Conrad Lehman in but i think it's, as the, as the summer developed and it was like we're in a position here could we get a could we get a nice little deal here you know i, I don't know what, what the fee would have been but can we get a a deal that works, you know, he's someone who we think good enough to play for Liverpool in the long term. 25. Yeah, age. and he might be, you know, he might be cheap enough to, to, to sort of to justify, well, we'll do we'll do this in, in the summer. But I think, I mean, as agents as well, you know, with the relationship there with with Keita, with, with Mane, um, with others as well that have played for Liverpool. So there was a lot of sort of parts to it. But yeah, the, the, the vibe was, no, he's going to, I think, I don't, I think it was Leipzig aren't, Aren't after selling him, but the player as well has sort of decided I'm going to sit on me me contract and, and go to Bayern and, and go next summer, um, which I think was signposted quite early in, in in the summer just gone that that they were I mean I think they were they were expected to sign him in the summer just gone, but it's turned out they they're going to wait and, and get him next next um, next June. It feels like they. The, in terms of the transfers, this is the market Liverpool have found themselves in now. They used to be competing with X, Y, and Z clubs to get players. Well, no, now it's well, sure, many big club move. Mm. Um, Bellingham, maybe Bellingham. Bellingham. We'll, we'll, right we'll come there, to Bellingham yeah. later as well. Now it's a, you're not you're not losing players who were getting stored by Tottenham. Like, I used to do, like, I mean, you know, <laughs> fucking hell, I'm in charge that happened. Now it now it's like it's Bayern Munich and it's, right, it's Real Madrid or it's whoever it is. Like it does feel like that. That's where. That's where the, the market Liverpool are in now. I suppose when you're in that market, and I suppose a lot of the questions will be like, can Liverpool compete with those teams financially and things like that? Because again, it's different for Conrad Lehmann because again, the Austria to Bundesliga is a tr is a path. You know, it, it's the, mm. a well trodden path where Austrian players end up maybe getting themselves there before like, moving on, and especially the the Leipzig to or, well any German team to Bayern Munich. It's like ev everything yeah. funnels up. It's, it's, but. That is the market we're going to be in. Now, if, we're, if we want these top players, it's going to be hard for Liverpool to just pick who they want. There's going to be massive clubs in for them because that's the level of player we're after now. Also, and I think I think it's a fair point to make that it's the bit of the Arsene Wenger problem that he had a competitive advantage for a few years where it was like Arsene Wenger knows all these players at Monaco and in the French league and French speaking players, and you know he's picking up these gems. And well, what do you do if, if you if you're a rival of Arsenal? At that point, you start going, well, hang on, well we can scout Saint Etienne and we can do this. You know, when Liverpool 
are looking at someone that it, it, I think it will prick a few ears around Europe where they're going, well, okay, right. Or, or it forces them to change their methods a little bit. And, you know, I know Bayern have, in particular this summer, you know, you've seen them sort of I think flex their muscles a little bit with Sadio obviously being the main one, but the lick they've taken off, off um, Juventus. They've, they've, they've bought a few younger players that they think can go and be top players but this this one's not really in that you know this is just Bayern being Bayern really you know you look a player does well at Leipzig or Schalke or Dortmund or you know whoever else Hamburg and they say yeah we'll have him Man, for Bayern it's, it's Ferguson's Man United where like Antonio Valencia yeah we'll have him Carlos Tevez yeah Michael we'll have Carrick, him yeah, Bay- lots Berbatov plenty we can, of those we players. can get only league and get the best players off everybody else but yeah, yeah so do you go back to it then it, it does feel like this one was the because everyone presumed it was the the player we wanted went somewhere else, and everyone just everyone just nailed down. Oh, he's not about Schumann because he, he, he were in for, he, he was heavily linked for him, but actually it could be this. Could yeah, be I think. One. Well, it, it, I think it's both. Uh, yeah, I think it's both. But I think he, I think he was specifically in that press conference referring to, to Conrad Lehmer. I think that was in the um, that was around that time. So, but either way, he didn't he didn't come? I, mean, I know what you're saying about Arthur. Yeah, obviously didn't get on did he the other night. Um, I wonder when we will see him. To be honest, with all these games, if his only, if it's only appearance is because I saw some reports from Italy, they saying like, like he might go back in January if Liverpool can sign someone. I'm not sure that would happen. But he got he got traipsed out at four four one down was it, in Napoli for half an hour. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit harsh. Thanks. Go and go and save us out there. Um, no, but listen, I mean October is absolutely stacked, isn't it? In November, so you'd expect there will be some fits, that's the uh, Yeah, and, and that's another thing, isn't it? it? Gives him two, you know, two more weeks to, to sort of. Even just to get those teammates. What a we could have done with it, yeah, is the I know the fixture list is mad, but like the League Cup games being where they usually are mm. would have done him a favour because he'd have got ninety minutes against Derby County at home. Instead, you you can't. How are you meant to guess? The reason he comes on at Napoli is because the game's gone. But well, we need to get half an hour into his legs and save someone else's. Yeah. You can't look. You can't get half up to speed in a Champions League game that you have to win because you got snotted for one the week before. It feels like he's another one now. Who, I don't know if the, the fixture postponements you said before about doing like some Robbo and Hendo favours, it probably hasn't done half a favours. Yeah. Because we're, he's, he's just training, he's been training for months, he, he needs to play. I, it'd be interesting to see what Liverpool do over the break and whether they can get a game on or something for him because he, he's got no chance at the minute. Because how would you get someone up, up to fitness when the games are so big? You can't, you can't. Yeah, true. And, you know, even the Wolves game really could have been. Yeah, I would, Hopefully you free up. I wouldn't like, have banked yeah. on it, but you know you could have been a situation where it's like that's not a bad game to bring him on for half an hour at Anfield and you know give him his, his home debut and that kind of thing. But yeah, at the League Cup, I think as as probably there's a couple of people that hasn't helped, but I don't think I think it's helped Liverpool generally not having to fit in League Cup games at this this stage because you know some of the teams they've been putting out have been League Cup teams almost in the, in, in the in the league or certainly. League Cup players have been playing. You know, you, you look at what money would you have got at the start of the season? If Bobby Clark would have played in the Premier League by the end of August, you know, that kind of thing. But Stefan Bacetic, you Stefan Bacetic, yeah. Stefan yeah. You know, Milner starting multiple games and that kind of thing. But, yeah, if anyone has suffered, it probably is someone like Arthur. There you go then, guys. Hope you enjoy watching that one. If you want even more Red Men goodness in your lives, like I say, go on over to redmenplus.com. You can check out the entire JNO insight. You've also got the debate shows, final word shows, instant match reaction shows, press conference reaction, and tons, tons more from as little as £5 a month. I promise you won't regret it. So that's redmenplus.com. Sign up to Red Men Plus. Take care. Get closer to Liverpool Football Club and the magnificent city of Liverpool over on Red Men Plus, our Liverpool streaming service. Documentaries, features, more content from the Red Men studio and you can learn deep and in-depth knowledge from experts, journalists and cultural features going to get you closer to the football club that we all love. Head to redmenplus.com.